Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a DIY mousetrap hack that's been floating around the internet where people are taking a can of soup and a kill trap and turning it into a live catch mousetrap. They feel bad for the mouse, they don't wanna kill it, but they find that live catch mousetraps are pretty expensive. So basically they take a few cents worth of material with a snap trap and a recycled can and they set it up like this. Here I used some wire and zip ties and attached it. Down here is a zip tie too. We drilled a hole in the base of that mouse trap and I set it in this base. That way we can pull back this wire and kill bar, use a setting arm and place it in the trigger. Now the mouse can enter, try to get the bait in the back of the can and when it does, it will step on that. The door will close and it's trapped inside. Let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if we can catch a mouse with our soup can DIY live catch mousetrap hack. Well, last night we caught a mouse with our modified soup can mouse trap. The mouse wanted the bait, went inside, stepped on the trigger, and that screen door closed. Now this trap did work, but you have to be careful. If the mouse's body is only halfway in when it steps on the trigger, it could quickly turn into a kill trap. Now what we caught is a non-native invasive species called a house mouse. Because it's not part of the natural ecosystem, I can't set it free. Instead, I'm going to humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. So let's go set up the motion cameras at the beaver dam and see what comes along and enjoys a mouse snack. 